So I started this particular recording because I wanted to capture this fellow. I could see one of his dogs is loose, but then I got a little bit distracted as I got closer. I noticed these wires and I thought I was right next to them, but I actually wasn't. Um, the drone was well above them, but I still have trouble, you know, when I'm looking back and forth between the drone and the screen. Sometimes, sometimes the screen will lie to me even though my eyes. So that's one of the things I think that I'm going to have to train myself in. Now, I, I'm trying to like go around the dog park, but I kind of couldn't get it to come back. And so I was trying to get it to come closer to me. This is about the best I could do. And when I looked back over to the right, which I'm about to do, I noticed that oh crap, I'm on top of the bridge, which I don't think I should sit on top of the bridge. Um, I started to go higher, which probably wasn't a smart idea. Um, it's probably stronger winds the higher I went. I don't know. Um, look, a nice boat. And some boats in the background. I'm gonna have fun capturing those views later. So what I did was I kind of, I took it down on the other side of the bridge. And uh, technically you're supposed to keep your eyes on the drone the whole time, but I, I thought for safety purposes, the situation justified my um, just hovering the drone in this location. It was a spot of grass on the other side of the bridge. It was far enough away from the water that if the wind pushed it any further west, I wouldn't lose it. Um, but I didn't want to land it on the other side um, until I was somewhere nearby. Um, so what I ended up doing was I, um, I hopped in my car because I remembered that you could get from a, right under the bridge, you could actually go to this side of Hallover Beach, Hallover Inlet, Hallover Park. And so this parking lot right here, so I ran over to my car like a madman and uh, turned the car on and drove over at a reasonable speed to this parking lot over here um, and you're gonna see me pull up shortly um, I was I was I was kinda worried for a few seconds that I would lose the drone but I'm glad that I didn't I I'm certainly pushing this thing to the limits of what it's capable of handling but that's kind of what I got it for I mean part of the reason I got it is to learn how to fly it and control it properly and to be able to take some cool footage but also to uh, to know what they can do and so eventually maybe I'll get a better one a stronger one but I started off with the mini and uh, I got it back and you can see I'm kind of giddy about it like ha 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 I, I, I won life and uh, maybe I didn't win life but I certainly won this drone back and uh, I'm going to be a little more careful in the future.